There are some animals you know about, like hamsters and guinea pigs. We bet you've heard of hamsters and guinea pigs, but some animals you won't have heard of, and you really should have, because they're kind of incredible. These are the 20 incredible animals you should know about. Number 20. Cassowary If there was ever a bird that showed the likely evolution of dinosaurs into modern birds, then it may be this one. I mean, come on, look at it. Tell me it's not a ruddy dinosaur. The cassowary has been given the ominous title of the world's most dangerous bird, and there's a very good reason for this. These crazy looking flightless birds can kill you with one swipe of their foot. Seriously, cassowaries are native to parts of Asia and Australia, and as a listed dangerous exotic bird, if you want to breed them, you're going to need a permit. The blue faced, helmet headed cassowary can grow as tall as six foot six six inches and weigh as much as 132 pounds, so if one of these attacks, it's not exactly like being set upon by a sparrow. The cassowary is equipped with a lethal weapon, it has three toes on each foot, and one of those toes is essentially a dagger. It's also been recorded that cassowaries have literally eviscerated humans with this knife-sharp toenail. It's so efficient it can easily sever a limb from a person. This is one dangerous toe. These birds need some serious podiatrist intervention. A 75-year-old man in Florida would be attacked by his own cassowaries at his home, and he was so badly injured by the attack that he actually died. These modern-day dinosaurs can and just might kill you. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Stick Insect What is brown and sticky? A stick! <laughs> the hilarity of it all! Well, stick insects are kind of green and sticky, but although they might appear a bit boring, they are anything but that. These insects have a whole range of weird and wonderful features that you should know about. The first cool fact is that they can regenerate their limbs. If they're caught by a predator, stick insects will release their own weak limb and make an escape. This ability to shed a limb when it's in danger is called autotomy, and they can regenerate the missing limb when they next molt their skin. The next unusual thing about stick insects is that they're able to reproduce without the need for a male of the species. In fact, female stick insects that haven't made it are still able to produce eggs that will grow into female stick insects. They'll all be female though, and even when they do mate, the offspring is still only 50-50 male and female. This skill is so widespread amongst different species of stick insect that there are actually some varieties for which males have never been found. They are simply surplus to requirement. And obviously, these insects are most famous for going around just looking like sticks. It's a great form of defense against predators if they can't spot you amongst the leaves, and these insects will curl themselves up until they resemble a dried leaf or stand still like a boring old stick. Well, they can't eat you if they can't find you. Number 18. The Salp um, what the actual heck is a salp when it's at home? If this is the first time you've ever heard of one of these things, don't worry because you're not alone. The description of these animals as a kind of planktic tunicate is about as clear as mud, so let's find out what that all means, shall we? The salp is also sometimes known as the sea grape, which probably gives you a bit of an indication of what they look like, but not much else. The description of tunicate is the category of creature under which this type of marine invertebrate is classified. And despite the fact that I had never heard of these things, they are apparently common in all seas. Who knew? Although they look a bit like jellyfish, they are not the same sort of thing at all. They're most likely to be found in massive swarms of deep water, especially near Antarctica, where they're believed to be even more abundant than krill. 
What is most interesting about these weird creatures is probably the unique system they use to eat food and to travel through the water. Both functions require the pumping of water through their wobbly bodies. They use this water pumping as a means of jet propulsion, which is how they swim, but it's also how they pump water through their feeding filters and sieve out their favorite phytoplankton dinner. It's a basic one-for-all system, but it's extremely effective. Number 17. The Bearded Vulture The Old World Bearded Vulture has a very particular diet. They're primarily interested in the stuff that other animals will happily throw away the bones. Yes, the bearded vulture is a bone-crunching bird with a taste for the good stuff that's concealed inside the bones. Between 85 and 90 percent of their diets are made up of bone marrow. They're actually the only bird on the planet that's known to have such a specialized bone marrow requirement, and they do have a reputation for some rather unsavory murderous behavior. It was believed that these vultures would kill lambs, but there's actually no evidence that they do except one of their other names, Lammergeier, which means lamb vulture in German. They also go by the more appropriate moniker of Ossifrage, which means bone breaker. Aside from all the dangerous sounding, man-eating, giant style names, these birds are really not so scary. They're actually doing some good work out there living mainly in places where wolves and eagles hunt. Bearded vultures are busy tidying up after these messy predators. These scavengers will come crack open the remains of bones after the other predators are done with the rest of the carcass. And while it is true that they primarily prefer to scavenge carrion, there is also the occasional report of bearded vultures preying upon small, alive animals as well. They're partial to an occasional tortoise or hare as a supplement to their bone-chewing habits. And in some instances, they're known to hunt larger animals by forcing them to fall off of high cliffs. That is a cunning and ruthless technique if I've ever heard of one. Number 16. Dumbo Octopus these octopuses live at the deepest, darkest depths of the ocean. The deepest of any known octopus species, in fact, is at 13,100 feet, meaning that these animals are adapted to live in very cold water without any sunlight at all. The rare Dumbo octopus also have some unusual behavior to help them find a mate and successfully reproduce. When the options are limited and there are very few species, it's necessary to get creative, you see. Now, it is a teeny bit bit icky, but you'll be all right. The female Dumbo octopus basically carries a variety of eggs around in the different stages of development, so whenever they meet a male, they like to stock up on sperm. You never know when you might find another eligible one for miles down there in the dark, so they have the unique ability to store this sperm up for long periods of time after mating meaning that whenever they have optimum conditions for making babies, the female Dumbo octopus can employ the stored sperm with the most suitably developed eggs, thus ensuring the best chance for successful reproduction. It's kind of empowering, really. Number 15. Kakapo, the flightless parrot. The kakapo is a cute and fluffy little bird, but it can't fly. These funny birds live in New Zealand, but they're becoming so rare that there's a campaign to bring them back from the brink of extinction. Kept as pets by people in the past, these crazy-looking birds are not only really friendly, they also have unusually soft feathers, and they smell nice. Yes, that's right, they have a distinct, musty, sweet fragrance that's unlike any other animal, but unfortunately for this bird, it means that it's pretty easy for predators to sniff them out, and their only form of defense is to freeze and pretend that they aren't there. Kind of like me at every high school dance that I ever attended. These incredible creatures are the only flightless parrots in the world, but even though they can't fly, they have very strong legs that they use to jog around. They must have some impressive glutes. Those same legs are also what makes these birds incredible climbers. They can scale the highest trees and use their non-flying wings to slow their descent back to Earth a bit like a parachute might do. As well as being unusual sorts of birds, 
what with the lack of flying and the climbing and whatnot, kakapos are also nocturnal. If all the unusual stuff that we've seen so far isn't enough for you, then how about this? Kakapos can live for 90 years or more. That's longer than the average life expectancy for humans, or indeed most any other animals. The only trouble is the fact that they are now so critically endangered, there are very few to reach that ripe old age. Number 14. Ohm What the actual heck is an ohm? I mean, I've never heard of this weird little creature, have you? The ohm is also known as the proteus. It's a salamander that's completely aquatic, and unlike most amphibians, it chooses to spend its entire existence immersed in water. These sausagey sorts of salamanders are cave-dwelling underwater creatures. They eat, sleep, and even breed in the wet stuff. And the funny thing about the ohm, apart from basically everything else about it, is that this particular particular species of creature is found in a rather specific region of Central Europe. They can be mainly found in the caves of limestone, bedrock, that exist beneath southern Slovenia, northwestern Italy, southwestern Croatia, and Bosnia-Herzegovina. That's a remarkably small area in the scheme of this planet. Apart from the startling appearance of the Ulm, it is also completely adapted in other ways to a life underground. These animals have undeveloped eyes, which means that they're completely blind, but they wouldn't be able to see in the pitch of the darkness of deep underwater caves anyways. Their other senses have been heightened, however, and they have an acute sense of smell and hearing, but they have no pigment to their skin. This makes the Ulm have a weird alien sort of quality, but be careful how you look at these bizarre animals. From a certain angle, they have a distinctive appearance of a particular unmentioned appendage. I know what you were thinking too. Don't pretend that you weren't. Number 13. Honduran White Bats Yes, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a species of bat that's found in Honduras, and Nicaragua, and Costa Rica, and Panama as well. And instead of the classic batty black hue, these flying creatures, you guessed it, are white all over. The Honduran white bat also goes by the name of the Caribbean white tent-making bat, so I guess it's also out there just making like a Boy Scout, pitching tents all over the show. And actually, it kind of does. This species of bat builds tents in which to roost out of plant leaves that it cuts to size and shape by using its teeth. Then when the sun comes up, the bats can be found snoozing the day away in their own personal little tents. They live and feed in a very small area. It's estimated that the Honduran white bat doesn't stray further than a quarter square mile, and they also only eat fruit and in particular, they enjoy figs. So these little animals have very simple needs and live accordingly. Number 12, Red Handfish. Yes, this is a red fish that does indeed resemble a human hand. And for some reason, I find it really super creepy. How do you feel about this funny fish? Not only do they look like hands, they don't even swim like regular fish. The red hand fish use their appendages to walk along the seafloor like proper creepsters. They're actually extremely rare, found only in very small areas of reefs in southeastern Tasmania off the coast of Australia. It's believed that there may only be a hundred or so of these fish out there. They vary in color from a bright red hue to a pale pink or brown color, and they're actually rather dinky, only measuring to be up to about four inches long. So that at least takes the edge off of that nightmare image of human hands creeping along the bottom of the sea. Number 11. Kung Fu Mantis these creepy insects look as though they've been designed for a science fiction film. Their alien-eyed heads and intensely sinister bodies, with all their terrifying gestures, make the mantis perfect nightmare inspiration. Add to that that the female mantis's famous proclivity towards postcoital cannibalism, and it's no wonder that these incredible insects have a bit of a reputation. Yes, that's right. In case you didn't know, the female will mate with a male mantis, and 
Then once the deed is done, she'll bite off his head and eat him. And it turns out that this seemingly psychotic behavior may actually make it more likely that the mantis will reproduce. The female one, obviously, because the male is dead. As well as all the regular murderous stuff that we all know about the mantis, these creatures have a whole load of folklore attached to them as well. Depending on where you are in the world and what you happen to believe in, finding a mantis in or near your home can mean either good or bad luck. Number 10. The Basilisk Lizard the green basilisk lizard is one of the most unusual inhabitants of Central America. This reptile is bright green and sports a rather fetching crest on its head, like a mohawk hairdo, and also has a ring that runs the length of its back. And so we've established that these lizards have some rare looks, but the most interesting and perhaps unique thing about them is the fact that they can walk on water. They will drop out of trees onto the surface of the water, and then they can basically run at some speed across the water. This is one of their best forms of defense against a would-be predator. Now, although they do technically walk on the surface of the water, green basilisk lizards have to use their back legs to do so, and they have a special adaptation on their feet that makes it possible. There are flaps of skin that they spread out to turn their regular land feet into water-walking patterns. Paddles. This fancy footwork is effective for about 22 feet on the surface, but then they begin to sink. Luckily for them, they're also pretty good swimmers and can remain submerged for around 30 minutes. Number 9. Indonesian Mimic Octopus the Indonesian mimic octopus has one extraordinary talent for dressing up. This remarkable animal can change outfits in an instant and trick predators into believing that they are some other much less tasty sea creature. It's clever stuff. Found in the warm, muddy waters of Southeast Asia, mostly off the coast of the Indonesian island of Sulawesi, the mimic octopus is a unique animal with some really different features and habits. For example, when a female octopus gives birth, she immediately dies. I know, it kind of sucks. But the baby mimic octopuses then have to fend for themselves as soon as they hit the water. It's a tough world out there in the wild now, isn't it? But they do sometimes make it, and that's when the fun really begins. The most exciting thing about the mimic octopus is its ability to mimic other animals. These cephalopods have a built-in wardrobe that even Barbie can't rival. Mimic octopuses have been observed mimicking lionfish, sea snakes, jellyfish, and zebra sole. They are some of its preferred outfits for tricking other predators. But it will pop on a different sort of garbage to get close to its own dinner choice. These octopus have been spotted mimicking crabs so as to get close to another crab before scoffing it down. It seems kind of rude, really. Number 8. Angora Rabbit the fluffiest bunny wabbits in the whole wide world. Angoras are prized for their incredibly thick wool, which is often harvested, humanely hopefully, for making soft and fluffy clothing for humans. These buns are often kept as pets, but they do require more grooming than a whole quota of Kardashians. The Angora rabbit has this luxurious soft fur, but it comes with a huge responsibility. It takes daily brushing in order to stop it from matting. The hard Harvesting of their wool is done either by combing, shearing, or plucking. A sheared or plucked bunny has a distinctly cross expression, and in fairness, you would as well if someone came along and stole your hairdo to fashion a pullover. There are umpteen different breeds of Angora rabbit, with some being extra hairy, and others known for being less high maintenance. And these things come in a full rainbow of colors as well, so you can pretty much match your pet to your curtains if you so choose choose. Number 7. Barrel Eye Fish yeah, it looks like a super weird fish. It does seem that the deeper we look into the oceans of the world, the stranger the sea creatures become, and the barrel eye fish is one such oddity. 
Equipped for a starring role in a science fiction movie, the barrel eye fish has a transparent dome-shaped head with an extra-sensitive tube-shaped eyes, which are covered by a green liquid-filled shield. Beautiful! This helps the creature to spot prey above them, even if they are swimming in the pitch black of the very deep ocean. They also have a pair of nostrils, which uh, look like sad eyes, and a pointy snout with a small mouth. They also have flat, elongated fins so that they move through the water by simply floating motionlessly, and their bodies contain a selection of luminous organs giving the fish an otherworldly glow. Now, while the barrel eye fish is no oil painting, it is hard to argue that it isn't well adapted to its deep sea habitat. This may be one of the best equipped fish for functioning down there. Where other deep dwelling animals have lost their sight altogether, the barrel eye fish has honed their vision to work even in the gloom. This definitely gives them an edge in the food finding and eating category, and perhaps in the evading predators department as well. Number 6. Tarsier the Tarsier is a small furry primate with absurdly big cartoonish eyes that's only found on Southeast Asian islands like the Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Brunei. But they used to be much more widespread. Fossils of this type of animal have been found in Asia, North America, and European countries. These nocturnal creatures have soft fur which is gray or kind of buff colored, and long tails. They appear to be a rounded shape because of the way they cling onto branches, all kind of scrunched up, but they actually have slender long bodies and long hind legs. The most distinctive feature of Tarsiers is obviously their big round eyes, which are set in their very round faces. Considering the diminutive size of the rest of them, Tarsiers' eyes are absolutely enormous. In fact, they have the biggest eyes in relation to their body size of any mammal out there. Each eyeball weighs almost as much as its whole brain. They also have a special skill. They can spin their head a full 180 degrees in each direction, almost exorcist style. Or, you know, like an owl, if you prefer a reference with less cursing and vomiting. Number 5. The Pink Fairy Armadillo the pink fairy armadillo sounds as if it's been invented by a five-year-old girl, but it is a real bona fide creature. This is the smallest species of armadillo, and it lives in the dry grasslands and sandy plains of South America, especially in central Argentina. These funny little creatures in their armored bodies are super well adapted to life in the arid landscape. One of their special skills is an extraordinary ability to dig themselves entirely into the sand in lightning quick time, getting completely underground in a matter of moments. In fact, this is quite a mole-like characteristic, but that does make sense. These pink fairy armadillos are basically like pale armor-clad moles in that they live in the vast majority of their lives underground and only pop up to the surface on occasion to look for food at night. The other awesome feature that is all but unique to this little creature is the way that it regulates its body temperature. Pink fairy armadillos can flush their blood vessels in their shells, which is why they're pink, by the way, and they can also adjust the temperature, kind of like adjusting the thermostat on your heating system. It can expose more blood to the cool air and decrease its core temperature if it's too warm. And likewise, if it drains the blood from its shell, it will warm itself by retaining the heat. Number 4. Flying Squid here we are back in the ocean to see another weird offering from the depths. This time for your eyeballs, I have the flying squid. An especially talented cephalopod with a penchant for air travel. Weird, huh? These flying squid have eight arms complete with suckers and a really large elongated head. Unfortunately for them, these animals are a favorite on the dinner plates of many Asian countries, and they can be found on menus across Japan, China, Korea, and Taiwan, which no doubt makes the necessity of fast, evasive travel pretty important for the whole staying alive process. When people first observed flying squid, they believed them to be part of the flying fish family rather than a mollusk-based being. But upon closer observation, it revealed what they actually were, and also 
some of the cool ways that they actually do what they do. Flying squid really do get some air. They use an extremely efficient jet propulsion mechanism within their bodies to travel above the water. This both saves energy and helps them to escape predators. They're capable of covering distances as far as 98 feet in one flying leap as they spread their tentacles and fins to make themselves more aerodynamic. Well, whatever comes next. Number 3. Paku Paku Fish These freshwater fish are native to South America and their name comes from a Brazilian native language in which Paku means fast eater. That's because like piranhas, these fish have some extraordinarily efficient eating skills, except that these guys are vegetarians. Growing up to be 3 feet long by the time it reaches adulthood. The Paku actually keeps on growing throughout its life. Imagine if all animals did this. Just think about that for a minute. Which creatures would be the biggest and just how large could humans get? Now, although they are known as the vegetarian piranha, the Paku will very occasionally eat smaller fish when its preferred diet of plants, fruits, nuts, and algae is scarce, but this is not their preference. In fact, when they're grown, they have a set of teeth creepily like humans, and they use these for grinding their food and chewing like we do, but also as tools for cracking nuts that fall into the river. Number 2. Amazon River Dolphin The largest and most clever of all freshwater dolphins, the Amazon Pink River Dolphin can change its color and even blush, a bit like a human does. These dolphins are actually born gray, like most others of the species, but they slowly turn pink as they grow up. It's kind of the opposite to humans who start off one color and often go gray as they get older. These creatures can grow up to about 9 feet, weighing around 400 pounds, often living as long as 30 years. The male of the species is stronger pink in color than their female counterparts, and what exactly causes this is still being figured out, but it's also believed that it may have something to do with external factors like their diet and the way they interact. The fighting in which they participate causes scar tissue that may affect their overall coloration. And much like other dolphins, their intelligence makes them particularly appealing to humans looking for wildlife interactions with social creatures. But like other dolphins as well, their intelligence and ability to work together through communication with one another should give any other creature a second's pause, even us humans. If there ever were candidates for plotting world domination, it would be these guys. I mean, seriously. They may be smiling, but these animals have a lot more going on in their noggins than we give them credit for. Number 1. The Blue Dragon these teeny weeny little dragons had a whole load of Texas wildlife experts scratching their heads and watching their step when they began washing up on the shore at Padre Island National Seashore in 2020. People began collecting them up for a closer look. The little blue dragons are actually really rare kind of sea slug. They measure only about 3 centimeters, or just over an inch long, and have a surprisingly unpleasant sting. In fact, although these titchy little dragons don't breathe fire, they do prey upon Portuguese man-o-war jellyfish, and surprisingly these animals hunt down the big bad jellyfish in order to steal their stinging toxins. Then, once they have a hold of the dangerous juice, they turn it into their own defensive weapon against other predators. So despite their seemingly innocuous appearance, these rare little sea creatures can deliver a hefty sting, and although the people on that Texas beach were fascinated by the blue dragons, they were also extremely fortunate to avoid the very nasty sting. Maybe it's best to avoid poking something if you don't really know what it is. Hopefully you've enjoyed finding out about some of these incredible animals. Were there any that you had never seen before, and what did you think of them? Did any of these weird creatures freak you out? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Also be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.